Viewers and subscribers, welcome back again. This is still BVI channel one where we tell you undiluted truth. Remember a couple of days or about a week ago, I told Ndiaba and whoever that cares to listen that if they don't have 24 hours electricity, let them hold me responsible. And that was as a result of what I saw, the readiness of geometric power to supply ABA reliable electricity after this visit. set out hmm. to do something and uh, you're able to uh, eventually accomplish it you have to feel good hmm. we also feel particularly good for Abia yes. for Abba yes. residents businesses now uh, I hear about 24-7 power supply isn't that a little bit ambitious uh, well, ambition is not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. Yeah, uh, yeah. So uh, we set about doing something uh, that is not common in uh, Nigeria, which is okay. Uh, is 24/7 power um, something that is alien? No. It may, be, it may be somewhat alien in Nigeria, but it's not alien in the world. When I was minister, I used to say to our people, there's no place where it's written on the forehead of Nigeria. Yes. Thou yes. shall not have reliable electricity. Yes. So what I, we set about to do here is to prove that it is possible to do. Mm. These, these are brand new turbines. Yeah. And uh, in the background, you can hear yeah, yeah. Uh, so mm -hmm. one of the turbines uh, uh, being commissioned and so I, I, uh, once we have uh, the gas mm -hmm. about people will have reliable electricity we are in the best place to be about Good. Subsequently, I told our viewers on this platform that the only thing that can stop this project from achieving its mandate of supplying this 24 hour 7 electricity to Ndiaba is sabotage. And I can tell you that sabotage is real. The sabotage is real and it is coming from within. I'm going to break it down for you because if it were outsiders, it would have been a different ball game. To start with, when Bart Energy embarked on this journey, after scaling the hurdle of a barring fence held down by EEDC, now, after being commissioned, remember from the video you just watched, the comment he made there, that once gas is supplied, Abba will have reliable electricity. Uh, once we have uh, the gas, mm -hmm. Abba people will have reliable electricity. 
my people that gas have refused to be supplied it have not flowed yet as we speak that's why some people are still complaining that they are not having the 24 hours electricity they want to frustrate this project and make it look like one of those failed projects because some principalities and powers are determined that we will continue being in darkness they knew what will become of our bank and the southeast generally if they allow this project to succeed and that is why we continue screaming on the top of our voice on this platform why the irreducible minimum is to restructure nigeria to regional government because this one nigeria thing is a scam everything going to abuja is a big scam and that's why i keep hitting it out on the abuja politicians to start with oh, so that you understand where the whole thing comes from when Bartina jam back on this project he had already made plan for the gas supply and had entered agreement with shell that owns the supply of gas you know shell is a um, petroleum refining industry and in the process they flare gas these gas have been wasting all these years now they entered in, into agreement to supply this gas to this power plant to power this thing many years ago when this whole thing started now before now the federal government under bugatti took over that very operation of shell they never renewed their license to continue the oil exploration and they handed it over after so many court cases up to supreme court they took over the operation and handed it over to nmpc my people you know who are the operators of nmpc you understand why i say that this abuja thing is a big scam this thing you call nigeria one nigeria as it is today is a big scam not just to the southeast but the entire nigerian people everyone they have their own story but let us focus on this one now Come to think of it, if it were Shell that are still operating now, do you think that by now we'll be talking about this supply of gas? And the one way pay me pass, and that is where I need your action. I need you to do this one thing for me. Because the company, they considered NMPC, instead of considering the supply of this gas, giving this concession to geometric power, you know, the supply of this gas to a company that needs it, Another company was given the concession. Now, Geometric Bank had to depend on this very company for the supply of gas. That is why I want you to help us beg our brother, a wonderful philanthropist that owns that company, they call her. Her, call her. Please, anyone that is close to Tony Elumelo, our big brother, the big philanthropist, help us beg him. Let whatever hand that is holding the flow of gas to geometric power be released. So that our people can be saved from the kingdom of darkness. Let it be on record that he is not part of this conspiracy. Because I get what people came on because the thing I will work on my I will pack him with offer. Those that understand what I mean, understand what I mean. This I care that has entered this soup should be removed though. Now, you know, these guys, they have amassed so much wealth. They have so much power that the natural resources have been given unto them. But instead of using it to alleviate the lives of the people, not that the people will not even pay for the electricity supplied. But some of the principalities and powers have vowed that we continue being in poverty and in darkness. You know what our power will do? If we have reliable electricity in this country, our people will not be running helter skelter. A lot of things will be fixed. But you know what? They are turning every one of us a slave. We continue running rat race in Nigeria for them at our expense because we are blessed with the natural resources so you see why i said this country is a big scam so please whoever that knows or whoever that can post and repost this video to bed tony Lumelo, tag them wherever he is to please release the gas flow to geometric power 
We know you sell to the national greed. And and all of those things. Yet we, we need this gas to flow. And also, let me point it out. This is exactly what Soludo was clamoring for. To the federal government under Tinubu. If you say you are deregulating electricity generation, why don't you release the operation of gas? Nothing else will happen without power. Yes, and I want to commend the National Assembly and their governors. We have done something as part of the solution, and which is removing electricity from the exclusive legislative list to the concurrent legislative list so that governors in their respective states can now create viable competitive electricity markets. That's part of the solution. And I want to commend everyone who has played a role in making this to happen. For us, Southeast EEDC is here, and it's quite auspicious that it is today that you'll be going to commission the geometrics in our back, um, pushed by one of our illustrious sons, Professor Barton Naji. I would dare to say Barton Naji is from Enugu State here. But he's been on this project for maybe more than 15 years. And finally, I salute his doggedness and determination that finally, after more than 15 years, going up and down and down and so on, I follow the trajectory of that. Today, you are going there to commission this. But we need to unlock one other thing that is in the exclusive list. That's gas. Gas. To have the electricity come out from the exclusive list into the concurrent legislative list, Without gas, <laughs> federal government still having a stranglehold on gas. That's a challenge. So the Honorable Minister, when you go home, put it in your own to-do list. We should go back to National Assembly to unbundle it and take out gas from the exclusive list and put it into the concurrent legislative list. Anambra has abundance of gas. But we can't take it and provide power for our people. We need electricity. At best of time, we get about 112 megawatts of electricity in Anambra. That's barely 40 watts per person per hour. Because in Anambra State, we have gas in abundance. I don't see why we should be suffering in darkness when, we have, when God blessed us with these enormous resources. That is why I expect Soludo's party that their manifesto stands on restructuring of this country to regional government through federalism that is the only solution to the problem of every nigerian not just the southeast every nigerian is a victim of this unworkable system the unitary federalism we are practicing in the name of democracy the unitary federalism we are practicing in the name of government Everybody going to Abuja. That must stop. That is why when we say these things, you should take it seriously. Restructuring of this country is the root of the, you know, the answer to all the problem of this country. And there is no two ways about it. Please help me share this video so that I'm making this update so that you understand what is holding Abba to, you know, start flying. What's your take on this? Drop it on the comment section. On the subsequent video, I'm going to address another thing that has to do with power and Abba. Help me share this one and expect the next one. In order not to miss it, subscribe. Bye-bye for now.